In this demo, I'm going to show you something I call progressive disclosure. And it'll be done without any third-party tools or scripts of any kind. And the idea is that you can have a rich text field or a form or something like that, and users can click on particular items and show more information. In this case, they'll show the number of units sold, the number of units to be sold next year, estimated, number to be sold the year after that. Uh, and, and all this is done without programming. And the trick to this is if you go into edit mode and you look, each of these is a set of three, um, it's a table with three rows. And if we go into the table properties, then what we'll see is that we have changed this to show only one row at a time and switch the row every zero milliseconds, which means it doesn't switch automatically, and then advance on click. So when I go to the table, back up there, and I, and I click on it first, I'm gonna go to the second row. When I click on that, I'm gonna go to the third row. And so I'll show more information as I, as I click through it. So I click on the second row, third row, first row again. And you, there's no reason this has to be a horizontal display. We can also do something like this, where when I click, it, it goes horizontal first and then shows more information below that, but it's progressively disclosing more information as the user clicks, and again, without any programming. So if we open this up, we'll see again, a table with three rows. Switch around so you can see it one more time. Uh, since you can use this technique without programming, you don't have to worry about ECLs raising warnings. Now that is progressive disclosure in rich text without programming. Thank you.